indeed, and thank you very much for agreeing to have a wee chat like this. This is my first Zoom. Is, uh, you're, is this a virgin experience for you? It is, verging on having a nervous breakdown. Every time <laughs> we are into technology, I just want to throw the thing out the window. In <laughs> fact, I once did. I was living above <laughs> Bill Daniels once. Go on. Oh, you've gone off now. I was hearing about Phil Daniels. Oh, you're back. Oh. Anyway, yeah, so someone, um, uh, so what happened? Yes, I was trying to work with my computer and I was up at night and it wouldn't work. Oh, I know. Now it's gone off again. Oh, no. There's a great story happening about Phil Daniels and Sylvester, and now it's gone off again. Oh, my Lord. Hello. Uh, oh. Just stay. I'll stay. I'll uh, stay calm. Come I'll, back. Sorry. I'll, yeah, I'll stay calm. It's just. <laughs> they're, 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 all, they're all queuing up. Oh Lord! Well, you shouldn't be so popular, Sylvester. That's, that's what it is. You know, you've been in touch with me for years. Never did a popular. So, uh, you, uh, 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 Phil Daniels and you. Oh yeah. Well, I Phil lived below me anyway, and I, I opened the window one night. I was so furious with this new technology, and I threw the whole thing out the window. Um, and and Phil got up in the middle of the night, couldn't see it, and you heard this noise. And then in the morning, he went out, and there was this dead computer in his garden. <laughs> it was mine. <laughs> So this is your history of the digital yeah. age, just bunging things out the window. Oh God, yeah, I wish I could really. Well, I mean, I quite like to, you know, go back to pigeons because uh, I mean yeah, they're quite. Yeah. You could send them away. Yes. An old John Ball printing set that we use here. So oh yes, that's yeah. A handy thing to do. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Well, hello. Um, thank you so much. Um, now I, you told me year before last, when we met at the Edinburgh Fringe and I saw your lovely show, you told me that there was the great elastic trick and there was some extra blurb that we're not doing that Ken used to do, or you used right. to do. Right. And you kindly volunteered and you came in and did a bit, you, you, you volunteered for us, do you remember, when you did yes. the elastic trick? And that was just a, a gift for us and thank you. But what was the blurb? I wanted to ask you, you said to contact and here I am. Two okay. Years later, um, Okay, I'll fire away. Um, uh, ladies and oh, sensation seekers, I have here in my hand a two inch wide, 12 foot length of ladies black knicker elastic. Now this piece of elastic is amazing. It stretches from 12 feet to 24 feet. And when let go, the recall velocity is 45 miles per hour. Now if you tie this piece of elastic between two upright poles, and you could successfully catapult a six pound boulder over a 10 foot wall. I'm now going to take one end of this piece of elastic and I'm now going to put it in your mouth. And then I used to stamp on his foot and go, ah, stick it in his mouth. And then I'd say, now sensation seekers, I'm going to take this piece of elastic, I'm going to stretch it out to its full length, and then I'm going to let it go and he's going to take it full in the face. And then, uh, now, just to recap, Sensation Seekers, while I walk out all over the audience, um, just to recap, what? 12 feet uh, length of elastic, stretches 24 feet, the recall velocity is 45 miles per hour, if you tie it between two upright poles, it's successfully cut it off, 10 foot, a, ten, a six foot, a six pound boulder over a 10 foot wall, I'm now going to take it to its full end, and then I'm going to let it go, and he's going to take it full on the face. Now, please don't touch it, ladies and gentlemen. This could be very dangerous because the great D uh, Dolby lost his nose while playing the piano for Vera, Vera Ellen, uh, Vera, well, some, that bit we never did very much, but I'll give it to you, for Vera Lynn uh, in, during the Desert War. And he lost his nose in the, her piano because someone touched the elastic, anyway. So then you stretch it to its full length and then you ask for a drum roll and then you say, are you ready? And then you fly away backwards. <laughs> oh my God, that's just wonderful. Did you not, did you not do that? I can't remember. It. That is wonderful. Well, we, 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 thank you. So that's, that's a gift. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and a bit of theatre history for us here, which, we, which we've got recorded, which is lovely. Yes, I mean, you know, Ken got it from a busker and, who used to work in the West End in the 30s. Is that right? Yeah, um, uh, Ernie, his name was, he was a lovely, sweet man. He was quite old by you know, the time, but Ken 
Uh, he got a couple of gags from him, but that was a so that was passed down from buskers of old in the great day of. And, and it goes to you, and then it comes to me, which is wonderful, yeah. and then I can pass it on, and which is lovely. And um, the fact that you remember it verbatim like that after how many years? Um, I don't know. I can't remember how many years. I can remember the elastic. It's extraordinary, though. Years stretch out like the elastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Well, listen, we're doing Ken tomorrow night as, at yeah. Zoom, as, as yeah. you know, uh, and it's our first Zoom experience, me and Terry Johnson. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and obviously, we're kind of thinking, well, how do we do it in this condition? I will do what I can to learn that. Maybe I won't learn it. Maybe it'll come and I won't, I won't, I'll be too scared. But, but may, if I can no, learn it, you want me. <laughs> use that blurb, that would just be wonderful. It would be a yeah. great thing to do. Okay. Well, look, yeah. I, I just wanted to say thank you very much. I will Back. stop this recording with now, and with your mm -hmm. permission, I can put it out and let people see it, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a joy. Uh, but I'll stop recording now, and then you and I will have a little chat, and then we can just have a little chat, and that will be that. But I right. will thank you very much for this uh, this wonderful gift you've given us and i and uh, and i'll come back to you just a moment when i've said goodbye thank you everyone bye bye sylvester mccoy ladies and gentlemen Hooray! thank you oh, i'm gonna have on <laughs> yeah, no. how do i turn this off now oh gosh what do i do turn I don't know. it should be uh, is this off so have you been recording it what we've done or... i recorded this if that was that okay with you oh yeah yeah no yeah. no i just i was slightly i thought uh, are you you wanted me to do it again, recorded. Oh, no, 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 I you, think that's always right. Could I, could I just say, you know, the, the bit of it, Dick Dobley, I mean, that we never used very much. I only f suddenly remembered it, but uh, not very well. Um, uh, if you don't use that, that be me, because I, I was a bit a tentative in that bit about yeah, Vera, yeah. Dick Dobley losing his nose, because I was only suddenly, oh, yeah, we used to do that bit where he lost, he, someone miscalculated, and he lost his nose into Vera Lynn's piano. Oh, that's a lovely line. Did it is. You, it, did you write this blurb, or did Ken write it? Or did you write it? Ken, no, this was Ken. We are, we wrote it, didn't we? I mean, yeah. the richness of that language and I know yeah. the richness the of velocity. Forty-five. I mean, of course, it's all in um, uh, you know, uh, it's not in meter. So I mean, I remember trying to re, re you know, re uh, tune it to meters. Oh. Um, and my hair, did my head in. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't do it. Listen, I'm still aware that we're recording. There is my, right. my man out here, who's, who's Michael, wonderful, who knows all about this. I'm going to get him to stop it. So this is still a recording going on. So I'm going to vanish yep. for a second. And, okay. Um, Mikael, how do I stop this recording? I've tried pressing a button and I was useless at it. <laughs> I'm such a Luddite. I really am. Oh, I know. My children, Join me. Throw they, them out the window. They know all about it. But I, do, I, I tried pressing that button. Is it gonna, how does it work? Ooh. You want to stop it? No, I want to stop the recording, but I want to still say hello to Sylvester.